Hey guys, today is Thursday, December the 15th of 2022, and I wanted to do part two of the uh, cycle series, back testing. Uh, so without further delay, let's get into it. So this is uh, the same uh, instrument from my uh, part one, Cameco, but this is daily, and I'm using data from uh, 2015 to uh, the current prices right here. Oh, not current, but you know, the actual uh, low of uh, March the 18th, 2020. And this little area right here, this is all unseen and unknown to the uh, software. That's why you can see that it's a uh, light blue and it's uh, the future. So we're just testing all this right here, this little area. So first off, the first thing uh, that pops out uh, is the uh, 237 cycle. And you see price action, it makes it low here. The cycles go up. Then the cycles go down while it topped out. So it kind of it got inverted. And then it goes up. And then it goes down. Then the cycles go down. And then we go high and make a high. And then the cycles are up. It topped out early. And now the cycles are down. So this is the uh, 237. The other one here is the uh, 183. So these are the two important ones. 237 and 183. So this is 183 pulls back it goes cycles are up so this one kind of lines up pretty good it goes down and you know it's not always going to like exactly go you know to the bottom but it kind of bottoms out then the cycles are up it kind of topped out here and then the cycles go down uh price goes down the cycles now are going down and price action topped out right here while the cycles are going down we bottom out right here we kind of bottom out right here and then we top out right here, but then it topped out here. And that's what these uh, cycles, you know, are indicating and showing into the future from this swing low. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go and uh, now go to the uh, one year into the future. And we're going to go somewhere around. And I'm going to keep it consistent with like March 18th or close to it. And uh, that's pretty good right there. Did I get it? No. Let's try that again. So March 18. So this is the next year. There we go. And now we have all this data here, and this is still unknown. And the next uh, cycle, uh, that looks like there's three important ones. One is the 172. And from here, it goes down and then it goes up and you see this looks nice and this is remind you this is not on this the program doesn't see this this is all the future so it goes up nails this one pretty good it goes down and the site uh, price action topped out uh bottomed out early it goes up kind of looks like it inverted we had a high on april 14 where the cycle goes up and then the cycles go down and this is where we at right now and then the prices cycles go up all the way to like uh, February of 2023. And that this all remains to be seen. All of this was remains to be seen. So I'm just kind of showing you what the cycles do, back testing, you know, into the future. What does it look like? The next one is the uh, 247. You see it goes down, it goes up very close to the peak here, goes down and this goes like inverted. And now these cycles go up here. Uh, the next one will be the 145. And uh, same thing over here, it goes up, it goes down. And then this one pretty much nailed the high right here. Goes down, it's kind of like in sync, uh, topped out, you know, a little later. And this one now still remains down. So those are the three um, that are there. And then we're gonna go now to the, uh, this year. March uh, 18, we're around there, pretty close to the top. And now this is all the data we got from right here. And this is all a note. So let's see what cycles pop out there. So now what's interesting here is that things are changing here. And this is what's interesting is like, as soon as you start getting close to something that is, I guess in my, 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 in my mind, like, kind of like getting toppy or close to a turning point, Things like change, like shift. Now the uh, numbers, and I'm going to show you this real quick. 
So the numbers that I went over here on the cycles with the 237, the 183, those are the first two, and that's from the March 18, 20 low, 20. And this is uh, the dominant cycle, 55. I'm not gonna show you that because it's a little more fractal. Uh, and then the first year into it was the 172, the 247, and the 145. The dominant cycles remained uh, 54, you know, off by one. And now on this one that we're just doing, it's uh, 172, 149, and I put a little star on the 109 because that one is the one that's kind of like really on lock mode with the market or with the instrument. And the dominant cycle still remains 54. So let's see that. So the 172, is it hits a peak here, it goes down. So this one, you know, inverted. Uh, price action goes down, we hit a peak, and now we go down here, and prices kind of go down, and now this is, you know, to the future, cycles are going up. The next one is the uh, 149. So we hit a peak here, so right here, you can see that this one pretty much... Uh, got good picked up this low right here with this cycle that was off here while the cycle peaked and price action went up while the cycle was going down and now this cycle goes up and we we're about to turn and go down and we're in this area right here now the one that was fascinating to me is the 109 this one right here because we haven't even picked the top yet we're like you know, on March the 18th of 2022, and you can see how this one lined up with this price uh, swing high, this cycle low, pick that low right there. This is the uh, March, uh, April 13th high, and uh, you see this low right here, lining up with this swing low, and now that high right there, I can't remember what that one was, uh, is that what, uh, September something, maybe the uh, 9th or the 12 around there kind of lines up with that cycle and now we have this one here and we have this low right here so this one is correlation is really strong so if the pattern is still going to play out and still be consistent then we're looking for maybe a swing top up here which somewhere is around the uh, february 4th so it's going to go high there so interesting that now we're going to go um uh, and we're going to take, you know, current prices where we at right now and just adjust it and see what has happened. And mind you, the dominant cycle uh, uh, has changed. I should write this down. It's 36 now. I'm not going to, I'm not going to write, uh, I'm not going to show you that, but I just wanted to just make a note of it. It's 36. So this is current prices. Uh, so this is what we have here. We have, um, Let's see here. So is the 108. You see now the 108 has like taken more of control up, down, up, down. And now this cycle's going up into like February or January. It's kind of shifting. Then the next one is the uh, 117. Down, up, down. So now these cycles are going up. And the uh, like the uh, 102, which is still up. So pretty much all these three, you do a little quick composite, it's kind of pretty much showing you somewhere around January. So what what do we get out of this? A couple of things is that the cycles are always shifting and I feel like the more you get into it and the more you have more of like data, uh, things start adjusting, uh, like example, the uh, 108 or, or the uh, 109 that I was showing you that one right here see that one like that and that one that's been you know adjusting really well and now like adjusting to these patterns of price action you know locking in and you know now we have to see if this is going to play out up to here if it's going to go up you know it may not it may push down and then and then it's just off and then something else is going to come up that it's going to you know start growing in regards to the uh, spectrum analyzer and then start, you know, working with price action. But I just wanted to show you this as an example. Uh, I'm probably going to do maybe one more. Maybe Netflix is like a popular thing because I know that one kind of went up and then it's just like tanked. So maybe we'll like get it from somewhere around here and see if we could have picked up where it just hit that high and then tanked down like that. 
But anyway, I hope you like this video and I'll keep you posted on some research, some studies, some analytics and stuff like that in regards to uh, trading. And I'll uh, good luck out there.